Good day everybody, welcome to a brand new series and this is all going to be about the outfit system. So me and my girlfriend, we love playing with this stuff. There is so much you can do, it's a really nice creative sort of atmosphere and much like housing, you can make pretty much anything with this. There is huge customization possible and if you get a few images from Google, make things that look like them, you can have a lot of fun with this. So. I have received a lot of requests from you guys to make videos about this stuff. I thought I'd make it a sort of miniature series. And if you guys ever have a topic you'd like to see me make some stuff of, please let me know. Um, bang it in the descriptions below. But if you're interested in seeing more of these, drop a like as well. This will be our first series. This is basically going to be the Dragon Guard outfits. And yeah, I really hope you find this stuff interesting. This is purely decorative, but I thought it'd be something to add another tone to the channel. Doesn't take away from any of the other content we release but something a little extra to add into the content. Okay, so this outfit will be part of our Dragon Guard selection, and this definitely looks best on an Argonian, but isn't too bad elsewhere either. And this is sort of your bronze style, and it goes very effectively with the skin that I'll show you in a second. So, give you a little spin around of this. This is, again, on my Argonian, quite bulky. No idea how this would look on a female Argonian. Who only knows? I don't. I love the shield, by the way. I think that shield's literally my favorite thing. Before I go on the outfit, I'll quickly show you what skin I selected, just in case you do have this for extra sexiness. That's the Amber Plasma skin, and that is for completing the Ruins of Mazatan Challenger. So I think that's for Hard Mode, Speed Run, No Death, and one other achievement as well. So should you wish to have that, that's another way you could do it. Otherwise, you could of course still run this costume and just adjust the dyes as you like or whatever. That's really down to you. So, costume time. Let's go on the outfit station. We are running no helmet at all because the helmet is ugly and the Argonian helmet is sexy. Look at that head, it's glorious. Gotta love the Argonians. Shoulders are then gonna be Imperial Pauldrons 4 and we're using two key dies here. The first one is gonna be Legate Black. Now this one needs quite a high PvP rank. If you don't have that, you could also go for Cold Harbor Ash Black. So Legate Black is gonna be the first row near the end on Hue and then Cold Harbor Ash is gonna be the very last one. And then the orange I'm using is actually Blood Root Wine, and this is for Horns of the Reach Delver. Quite a hard achievement, so again, if you didn't have that, you could just adjust that set of dies, all of those oranges, as you like. Those are going to be the only two dies for this, so it keeps it nice and simple, should you wish to play around. So our shoulders, Imperial 4 Heavy, they're going to be black, orange, and black. Our gloves are going to be Red Aran Medium, and that is going to be black, red. It was pretty much the only one I could find with like small arm and no weird elbow pads, so I went for those. Then we have the Worm Cult Heavy Legs. Now, obviously, that is rarer. So if you don't have those, have a play around with what you like there. They are pretty expensive, but that's down to whether you can get those. And that's going to be orange, black, black. Our body, my absolute favorite part here, the Telvan and Curis. This is in heavy again, and it is orange, black, black. And I really love the effect on the body. Uh, I can even show you that without shoulders at the end. And I think that also looks really great. But just in general, the body is awesome. Our sash is going to be Mercenary Light. That is going to be no colour, since you can't. Black uh, and then the orange. And then our boots are going to be the Aldemiri Heavy Boots in orange, black. Last but not least, shield, as I mentioned, is Order of the Hour. That is going to be black, orange, orange for this really, really nice shield style. I really like that one. It's not very expensive, easy to get. And then our sword is going to be the Akaviri Sword Free. So just to show you that wielded fast, that is what the sword would look like as follows. Last thing I promised was to show you it without the shoulders, so I just got on clear, and that would be the look without shoulders. A slightly different feel to the whole appearance, but it's still pretty nice, I think. Um, so you could adjust that as you like and sort of use it. So I hope that's a nice one. So next is going to be one that many of my viewers would have seen before, because this is my favourite outfit on my DK. And this, again, will fit in the Dragon Guard series. So this is going to be a sort of general feel for a heavy slash light mix DK. It really does the best of DK. I think the spikes really help the look. But hey, you could run this on any class in terms of style. I think it's very pretty. I particularly like the sword and shield. And I've kind of gone with those as my template because the sword especially has a sort of natural red on there that you can't get rid of. And so I've dyed everything else around that. So let's move on to that one. Going to the outfit station. This time we're running every single piece and three different dyes. So the dyes that we're running in this build are gonna be Julianus White for our white. Legate Black for our black. So Juliana's White is the first white. Legate Black is sort of first row towards the end. And then we're running with Ruby Frame Red, which is for Emperor. Now, obviously, that's a tough one, especially. So you could adjust that for a different red, should you wish. 
Um, it's just the one that best goes with the sword, in my opinion. But there's plenty of other styles. It should be fine. Our helmet is going to be Abba's Watch Light. This is going to be dyed white, black, black. Shoulders are red guard pauldrons free. Now these are super nice. This is red, black, sorry, white, black, red. And you'll see the red basically adds a little tint to the edges of the shoulder, which I really, really like. The gloves then are going to be skin changer heavy. And this gets this sort of spiked feel. And they're going to be white, red, black. Particularly like these ones. And then our legs are going to be mercenary guards for. I'm not going to lie. Leg wise, there were very little options to actually get this working. And that's why I went for the medium style legs. That is mercenary, and that is white, black, red on the dies. The body then is going to be Zivkin heavy. That is black, white, and red to get this nice little feel. And the red just adds a little tint to the edges here and there. And then the belt, just to keep it simple, is Trinomac heavy. And that just is literally red, white for this middle centerpiece, basically. The boots are then going to be Trinomac shoes. That is light. There were, again, very few options in terms of shoes that didn't look too bulky. This was about the best we could get. You could adjust the black and the red, should you wish. You could also go all black or whatever. It's up to you. Uh, but my dyes are currently black, red, and white. Shield, the god ascend that it is, is the Bloodroot Forge style. And you get this awesome, awesome look with the white, red, black arrangement. Obviously, you could adjust that red for any color, by the way. It's just because it goes with our Zivkin style sword, which is white, black, black, but has this natural red. So again, just to show you that weapon, we zoom in. You obviously see the red on the handle. That's part of the natural colors that you can't remove. So the third and final for this collection of Dragon Guard is going to be the Saber outfit. So this outfit is looking absolutely swank as hell. Now this actually works with just, uh, sorry, not just the jeweled, but also with a bow. And just to quickly show you the bow that you'd need to get that to look great, it's going to be the Asylum bow. And this is what I currently run on my Gank Stam Nightblade. But let's quickly put two swords on just to show it in the outfit system since the bow is not outfitted. And quickly go over this costume in general. Give it a quick tour of it first. That's what the general, damn this chat. That's what the general costume is looking like from the outside. We spin around to the back, to the front, etc. So the costume is as follows. The helmet is going to be Trinomac helmet. Now, just to show you the weight on that, we scroll down. And this is going to be right at the bottom in medium. We're using two dyes throughout the outfit. That's going to be transliminal violet. That is going to give you this sort of gold effect despite being purple. And that's from the Imperial Lightbringer achievement. And then we're going for Legates Black. There's not really a great replacement for this gold. It really is an amazing die. So try and get that one if you can. Obviously, as per usual with this black, adjust it to any black that you like. Shoulders then are going to be Malakath Medium. They get this very, very basic style, but it looks great with the gold trim. And that is going to be a purple, sorry, black, purple, purple. And then the helmet is going to be purple, black. The gloves are Abba's Watch Medium, and they are going to be black, black, purple. And they have this really awesome sort of puff effect on the outside. Looks even better on the shoes, which are, again, the same style, Medium Abba's Watch, where it sort of gets this outcrop with kind of a, a very clear color popping out of the structure. The legs, then, are going to be medium, sorry, heavy, my apologies, Red Guard 4. And they have this sort of dotted effect that fits so well with the body, which is going to be mercenary medium. So the, the legs are going to be with purple and then black. And then the body is going to be black, black, purple. The belt is going to be Assassin's League 4. Again, it's just to follow that sort of speckled theme that carries out throughout the whole thing, creating a lot of small gold areas on this black to keep a nice contrast going. Um, and you can see that obviously on the character around the waist. And that is going to be black, black, purple. Last but not least, the weapons are both going to be Trinomac swords, and they are going to be with purple, black, black, and it creates this really awesome style. Definitely going to be the best option for Jeweled. But like I said, for the bow, you could just go flat out for the Asylum bow, which looks really, really great with this look. If these videos were nice, if you like this sort of stuff, I do have some other collections that I could release. So feel free to ask for it, and I will upload them. Obviously, it's pretty different to the general content, but I thought, since I've been asked a lot on my content... What is that outfit that I'd share some of my many outfits and I'd also craft some more because it's quite fun to do so. If you have also got no idea about the outfit system in general, definitely jump in to my outfit guide, which is going to help you guys if you are a newer player, understand how to actually use this system in general. Um, that will be found in the guides section of my channel. But for the time being, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that at least somebody will make the best of these outfits, whoever knows. And I just hope that this was enjoyable content for you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.